thank you everyone for a great week of town hall meetings. Uh, they were they were exhausting for me, but also very valuable. I really appreciate all the feedback and uh, I think it's very important. You know, I'm always surprised how much more communication is needed. I think there is enough communication, but I always find out there's not enough communication and we're continually working on it. So I hope it was helpful for you. And in three months, we're hoping to do another one at the Christmas party. So anyways, I wanted to share the survey results with you. Uh, so we're gonna do that first, and then I'm gonna show you an improvement towards the end of this video. So stay tuned. if you look on top, we have 78 responses. Thank you so much. That's, that's very good for a company our size. But here are the results. What's your favorite part about the town hall meetings? So hearing what we've accomplished and hearing our plans for the future. Oh, thank you. Over here too, on you guys ranking what, how we can grow our team members, what would be most interesting to you. These are the top two. Financial Peace University, which I'm very passionate about, helping people get out of debt and improving their finances. So I'm very glad to see that on the top and we will see how we can facilitate that. But this is very helpful, this information. So thank you for doing that. Overall, how satisfied are you with your current employer? Here are the results for that. It's very nice to see 58% are extremely satisfied. And with these results, we can at each town hall meeting see if we're making progress, see if we're getting better. Feedback on company leadership. So to the left is disagree and to the right is strongly agree on confidence in company senior leadership team and things like that. I'll let you look through those questions there and those answers. The next one is regarding pay and benefits. So here you go on those. Feedback on communication within the organization. So uh, like I said, there's always opportunities. There's, we always need to work on communication. I think we're great compared to other companies, but I think there's some low hanging fruit and some uh, better things we can do. So, oh look, somebody just responded. We got 79 responses now at the very top. So thank you. All right. That's it. Uh, feel free to look through these and uh, again, thank you so much for spending the time filling these out. I promise we're going to take these seriously and uh, look through them and make sure that we make changes, improvements to better serve you guys as you guys build quality trailers for us. Thank you. We are having a lot of issues with uh, paint rubbing off on the toolbox lid or wherever it's resting on because we open it all the way after paint and it just uh, causes all the scratch marks and the scuff marks and the finished QC is telling me that we have to do a lot of touch-ups because of this. So we're gonna change our process a little bit. We're gonna leave the toolbox prop in the toolbox longer. When it gets to the assembler in the line, then he's gonna take the prop out and install the toolbox shot completely so that uh, we don't have to open the lid or rest it on anything and uh, there should still be plenty of room for the hydraulic guys to do their work and we are getting longer shocks and this is with the toolbox shock installed uh, there is room to do the work and like i said we are getting longer shocks so it should give even more clearance to access whatever needs to be accessed and this is something that uh, we have just done every day and i've done it every day it's something that we get used to uh, something that doesn't work good but we just work harder just to get it done because that's just the way we do things. It's our standard. And I uh, just want to encourage everyone that we can, we can raise our standards. And I want to encourage everyone to do that. There is more areas like this in the shop. And uh, sometimes we just need to slow down or stop before we can speed up. So uh, thank you to David Roberts for bringing this to my attention and to Elvin and Eddie and their teams for making this possible. So keep up the good work and let's continue to make improvements. Thank you. And a special shout out to Jason Toon. I caught him making improvements here to the bandsaw conveyors, helping them to roll freely and better to reduce the struggle. And then I also caught him pressure washing the sky track. We got a brand new sky track and he's just doing a great job taking care of it and it makes me happy to see that. Keep it up, Jason. And Chris Fuller found new boxes for these bolts and nuts instead of the torn up ones. Great job. 